시작할게요. 아이이어 <웃음> <웃음> All right, guys. Um, today, I am continuing with uh, Brandon's run of elves from the first of last month. Um, I'm a little bit behind here. I'm actually really excited to um, cast this one. Uh, it appears that Brandon went on a back-to-back -back miracles binge, um, and I mean traditionally, elves really didn't want to see miracles at all, and I'm sure um, that they're not happy to see that. Uh, Miracles is back in full swing here. Uh, Dohi is uh, mulling to six. Um, I see a Terminus in there. I see a Supreme Verdict. <laughs> see two lands. I don't see a Brainstorm, which he's going to want for um, setting the Terminus back on top. I've been playing Myth Realized a lot, and uh, you know, I, I'm pretty much always looking for um, opening hand Terminus and Brainstorm. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, cracking open a hand to Terminus, I, I figured that it was it was pretty horrible, but we can always get it back on top. And we want it early and often. So Visionary resolves, and we're going to get Crank in here. Um, Brandon already getting a nice little advantage. It's a pretty slow start. Um, but it's not one that's that's super weak to anything that Donghee's going to um, throw at him. One thing from Brandon's side is I'm going to be looking out for any time he has access to uh, manipulate the top of his deck. If somebody's playing Flooded Strand Tundra, then um, immediately I'm a bit wary here. So let's see. So. No Heritage Druid Antics. He's going to swing in for two and not commit anymore. Um, I'm not sure if this is evidence of a very weak hand or... Okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, typically, the longer that you let Miracles set up here, um, the worse it's going to be for you. He's going to start accumulating a lot of... Um, just rock, just counterspell. I think that they've both... They're both chuckling uh, happily about how crap their hands are. All right. So Brandon goes for five mana, and he... Um, I would have been pretty scared of a spell pierce there, um, but way better than that, he gets a force and a jace out of uh, doing his hand here. And with no manipulation on the library whatsoever, he's going to crack that fetch. And I'm not entirely sure why. So there's his brainstorm, and he has lost his fetch. Um, but he was just setting up for, you know, natural turn four supreme verdict. I mean, that's pretty nice. Um, Brandon is probably really close to out of gas here, um, because he neglected to do anything very early on. <laughs> Crafty Dryad Arbor, um, sneaks past the Wrath here. And only has to get in for attacks 15 times, so we, we've got a plan. Brandon untaps with access to 4 mana. Um, no Cavern of Souls yet. Make that three mana. And it has no play. Uh, <laughs> he has forgotten that he exiled his Jace. Uh, probably thought that he was in much better position than he was. Yeah. Glimpse resolves. Deathrite Shaman is a draw. I think he just ripped... Is that Dryad Arbor? Nope. Oh, it was Heritage Druid, and he gets a draw. He really needs to make one more elf here. Great. Metal Sentinel draw. Um, I think that Donghee is going to sword Deathrite. 
with this on the stack. That would be mine. Um, Brandon has a draw. Uh, Dongyi can, what, uh, he can set Terminus on top now and just let everything resolve, um, but that's a little risky. Um, because he could just, oh, I see. So wait, did Brandon not get his draw off that Nettle Sentinel? Because I really think, like... Volcanic Island, yeah. So I was waiting for Dongyi to respond to the draw on Nettle Sentinel, but then he brainstormed and then there was no draw and then he just passed the turn. Might be wrong here, but that seems pretty, I don't know, this is Elvish Visionary. There's Counterspell. And Dongyi's in great position now. Um, that predict drew him tons of cards. And he's got a Jace again. He's got access to his sword. He sees Korean Ranger on top and allows it to stay. Um, Brandon is in a very deep hole here. Uh, You know, he never even came up with Cavern to kind of fight through Counterspell. Oh. Green Sun's for two again. And I'm not sure what twos are in the deck. Is this Visionary? Yeah. That's not it? <laughs> oh, no, 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 <clears throat> I think it's time to brainstorm. Yeah, he's got an Arid Mesa in hand and um, probably a lot of chaff, so let's get rid of two lands, play Flooded Strain and Shuffle um, before next turn, or now. All right. White bordered basics. I mean, I understand the appeal, but gross. So, um, from this use of Ponder off Volcanic Island, uh, Brandon is can be very sure that there are zero copies of Bolt in the main. That's nice. Um, Tap draws a card. Uh, Terminus is his next. He's allowing Elvish Visionary to survive this turn. Yep. And this is like a risky thing when you let them get so many cards um, just planning on sweeping away their board. Korean Ranger is going to, what's he going to do? Maybe reset. No, he chooses to play a land from his hand. And he's ignoring Jace. Um, so Nettle, Sentinel, no, I mean, sorry, uh, we're going to save Elvish Visionary here um, for the draw. And the Ranger. Yeah. Reclamation Sage is okay, says Dong He. And he's still got a hand of two swords. 
see if Brandon will go ahead and check the top of his deck here. He does not. He doesn't even care. Um, so Brandon has gotten his... He's, he's drawn quite a lot of cards this game, but it's just backbreaking to run into that many Wraths. I mean... It's what it is. Dungy got really greedy there. Did he refuse to sword the Elvish Visionary um, when it was being returned to hand last turn? He really needed to do that. I don't know why he allowed him to just have another draw. Um, this makes me think that we're about to have a Snapcaster appear. Um, checking the graveyard like that is so... Guys, don't do that. Well, wait, yeah, you have to pay for the spell first. Yeah. He's playing main deck counterbalance. Um, that could be really, really, really strong against elves here, right? Yeah. Stocked up his hand. He's a counterbalance. Sees windswept teeth on top and leaves it. And ponder. And we're trying to put. Just put a one on top and just call it good. He's gonna reset the top of his library and then portent himself. Now, I'd like to see some Jace the Mind Sculptor plus predict shenanigans, predicting your opponent's good cards into their graveyard. Uh, all right, so that's, I'm just going to say it now, that's going to do it here. Um, we're going to neglect the counterbalance. Um, it's going to be worthless here, but that doesn't matter because he's going to set a uh, game-winning um, entreat on his next turn. Though Brandon at 11, let's see, or Brandon has a, his opponent at 11. He's got four creatures in play. I mean, he still has access to what? Did he have one more sword? No, he doesn't even have it. Natural order. Getting rid of Dryad Arbor. Wait, why did you... Brandon, you spent an extra mana and you didn't need to. You need to, you need to tap the Dryad Arbor for a one and then sack him. Natural order resolves. Is this enough? I can't believe it. How did Dongy? How did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening here? He has access to one sword. If he swords Behemoth with this on the stack, then everybody just gets plus three. Let's see. Four, eight, eleven. But they have tramp. Oh, he's going to go to two? Oh my god, actually, he's going to go to two and then win with an Entreat the Angels. No problem. Easy peasy.
。トランプまだまだまだまだ。まだまだ<coughs> Everybody gets plus three plus three, right? Four. Is he going to reveal this? <laughs> he doesn't reveal the entreat because it doesn't matter. Wow, he got so greedy. There was a. Wow. He was attacking for 12. Yeah. I'm sorry, my math was really bad there. He was attacking for 12, and it was trample. And he only had a one power. He was dead by minus one.、Um, that was sick. Turn two, as Kanta. Turn two. Draws supreme verdict. Leaves up.、Um, I know he plays with white border. Either that's an island, or he just pulled a counter spell to the front. Can't quite see what's is that. That's、oh, flutter strand and planes. So he might not actually have a big plan until turn four, supreme verdict, which it appears is going to be quite good. May as well set up. Wow, set up that turn. Okay,、uh, remember how I? I don't know. I called last game too early, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again now. Resets Brandon into the Stone Age. Plays a land for the turn. And is now on track to go get himself.、Um, turn four, supreme verdict. Ah,、uh, there's the search. This is a very brutal opening from the Miracles player here.、Um, it's gone exactly according to plan. But as we saw,、um, Brandon refuses to give up anything. He did not give up last game when it was when it seemed so bad. And now, as Kanta is active and can be used at the end of this turn,、um, or he also has access to brainstorm, etc. See what he wants to do. He has supreme verdict here, so let everything resolve. Activate as Kanta. Maybe he wouldn't even verdict this next turn anyway. He's drawn another search. It's a little awkward. <laughs> 
And unless he's taken down White's horse, he has um, turned off Supreme Verdict, so he's not interested in just getting the two for one. Brandon leaning into the terminus here, believing that, you know, maybe this next turn is the combo turn. He knows that uh, just playing and picking away at Dongyi isn't going to work here. There's a Pendlehaven. Portens himself keeps another terminus floating. And this is just gross. Glimpse? There's a cradle. I think I think that Brandon is going to go get I don't know, probably Dryad Arbor. Um, to make G's cradle a little bit better and offset it. You know, hope to um, go for the win next turn. Um, but what I'm worried about here is that uh, we saw the miracles player ponder or sorry uh, portent and refuse to shuffle so i i feel like the next card is reclamation sage draw the next card is terminus but we don't know that he's got us covered multiple ways um there's been a supreme verdict in hand the entire game Well, Brandon, we had a good time. We attacked a couple times. We uh, we drew a lot of cards, but wonder if he can just cast a Nissa, maybe. Symbiote's back. Um, it's just going to get sorted. He's going to sword Visionary first. Uh, all right. going to 10 here. Um, doesn't have access to Azkanta again this turn. I think he had intended on uh, activating Azkanta last turn, but since he had a sword, he didn't have enough mana, um, so he wasn't able to clear the top of his library. Honestly, though, you could play Search for Azkanta and then refuse to ever flip it and just use it to scry. Oh, but there's Nissa, um, and we need to force it. <laughs> if this keeps up, Symbiote is going to get ambushed 
by a Snapcaster, and I think that that'll be all she wrote. He decides to tap out. Tap out for a search. And now he's perfectly set up. Oh, but the symbiote is going to be a 2 3, so Snap wouldn't even kill him. He lets himself go down to 4. He is a greedy, greedy man. So now, uh, search for Azkanta can clear whatever card he leaves on top of the deck. Um, it's not as good as a full shuffle, but... Another thing that you can do um, when Azkanta is active, as the land is um, on upkeep, you can go ahead and activate it. It's very mana-hungry, obviously, um, but if you need to clear the top, then it is what it is. Stifle in the board is an interesting thing. I think he's got a million cards. So just one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's got an active Azkanta and he's got a million cards, man. Though I guess seeing some more cards is always good. And Brandon is really low on resources here, but I don't know. Um, he's got to try to do what he can do. So here is Dryad Arbor with his favorite friend, Pendlehaven. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you already said no blocks, dog. But that's fine. He's going. He's gonna sort it. I mean, he's got so many answers. Blocks on on you? Ah, block on you, eh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Shut up. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, dude. Ah, okay. One. <laughs> One. Okay, so Dryad Arbor threat averted. <laughs> this is brutal. He just needs to find Jace here. <laughs> okay. I would be willing to just activate Azkanta, look for the Jace. Do we have a second Dryad Arbor left? We used it earlier, right? 
Oh. He, oh, he got shuffled back into the deck or something. So, okay, so here is the second Dryad Arbor. Okay, untap, Portent draws, Brandon draws. Dryad Arbor comes. He takes two, he's at two. And here, if it eats a Terminus, then he can get it back. We'll get a Force of Will. <laughs> he puts Scalding Tarn off of the screen. There's the Jace. <laughs> Sees Forest and leaves it. And now he's just holding back Blocker for Dryad Arbor. Which is a cool attack. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to jump. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, we knew he had a million cards. Okay. Okay, everyone. Don't get too excited. Quarian Ranger. And he stops with his attacks. He's now on the Jace plan. Jeez, it's so heartbreaking when you get the Miracles player to two, isn't it? No fetchable lands left. What if he just hard casts Crater Ho Oh no, that gets forced. What if he's got Cavern left in the deck? Glimpse. There's no way he's letting this resolve, right? You gotta search for Counterspell here. Just brainstorm here. He appears. He doesn't have. Wow. He doesn't have a one. He's going to show his retreat here. Nope. All right. Uh, okay, so Glimpse goes away. Uh, Brainstorm should go away. Heritage Druid is out. And he will untap and reveal um, a very lethal entreat. Uh, Brandon's hopes and dreams were dashed there. He was hoping that uh, Dungy uh, drew badly for a couple turns, had nothing, and that the Abrupt Decay was going to sneak Dryad Arbor in there. Um, 
But I mean, with the way that this went, uh, our Miracles player had too many cards, too many turns with active Azcantas. Uh, Brandon has no way past the elves except for um, finding Deathrite Shaman and activating it. Unfortunately, there's also a Jace, so he can't get a Deathrite Shaman through uh, Summoning Sickness. I actually don't, I don't see a way here. Maybe Elvish Visionary can draw one more card. Remember, Heritage Druid is not active now because um, the Symbiote is not an elf. Yeah, 20. Okay. Let's learn Korean with the stream, everybody. E ship, 20. Uh, yep, so Brandon is very dead here. Uh, that game, there were some points where I, I felt like it was just completely over, but he, we kept dragging it on because it's possible to, I don't know, maybe pull out a Nissa win. Um, we saw both of the Nissas bite counter spells there, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, tried our best with Pendlehaven and Dryad Arbor. Almost got there, man. So Brandon will pick up seven on the play, game three against Miracles, giving this one more good try here. And he does not seem enthusiastic about his hand. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he said he was keeping and he was waiting. Yeah, maybe he maybe he's fine with his hand. Let's see a nice aggressive one out of Brandon here. Um, and by the way, guys, I have not seen a single Cavern of Souls this entire match. I want, are you not playing with them? I feel like that has to be one of the most important cards, right? We're going to be afraid of Counterspell the entire game. I only want to be afraid of Counterspell when I'm throwing Natural Order out. It appears... Um, Dungi is not happy with this hand, but he refuses to go to 5. So Brandon will lead on Pendlehaven Nettle Sentinel. No, turn 1 Nettle Sentinel is not what I wanted to see, buddy. Ah! <laughs> oh no! He's like, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Uh, not sure if dropping the card uh, heavily influenced his decision or not. Um, I don't think it does. I think that this hand needs a lot of help. I think we can commit to the board here. We've got, uh, sorry. What did I miss? Uh, I was going to say that I would commit more creatures to the board because uh, Dongyi was um, keeping a mulligan, not manipulating the top of his library, and etc. Um, so Heritage Druid comes onto the field before it can activate and make three mana. He, oh, Brandon missed uh, tapping Cradle. No, he didn't. 
because Heritage Druid still wasn't there. Everybody makes mana now. No, make mana. Oh, we can't make. Oh, okay. All right, we're bringing it back together, guys. Every, it's all right. I'm curious as to what Brandon's line was there. I think he's about to go on a runaway train here. I think an elf ball is about to happen. Heritage Druid is active. I'm counting like eight mana right now. So, okay, so three green floating. Green suns for one, one green floating. He will unexpectedly absent away the Heritage Druid. Um, Brandon has the opportunity to go ahead and generate the three mana. Oh, unexpectedly absent. Absent is zero. So put it on top of your library and then sh grab something from Green Suns and shuffle. Um, I'm unclear here why... I guess he doesn't need the mana. Because he doesn't need the mana and he wants to attack with the Elvish Visionaries. Is his line here one that's going to generate a crater hoof that's attacking here? Or. I guess he would only need that mana if he's got a big payoff spell. And if he doesn't have a payoff spell, then yeah, he wants to attack. Visionary gets played again. So that was only... Shouldn't we have made a ton of mana with Heritage Druid and then maybe replayed Elvish Druid, uh, Elvish Visionary twice instead of just getting in for one? <laughs> So there's a big entreat looming again. Um, Dungi's pause there while he was drawing and his laughter makes me feel like it was terminus or entreat. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I was about to say. Um, Brandon is now set up to possibly be able to do a bunch of damage this turn. He's got to be worried about a miracle in his near future. <laughs> He's going to commit to get the Jace off the board and works out. I think if you commit to the board here now, you're going to lose it. What's happening? Stop. Play, play. Hey, buddy. Uh, Brennan, do stuff in the order, man. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so we get Visionary back to hand, um, save the team. Still feel like he's in pretty good position here um, because he didn't just, like, throw it out all out on the table to lose to a Terminus. Get a dry at Arbor. Oh, no. 
And if I'm Brandon here, I, I feel like Dongyi's hand is like pretty crap. Really. There's a glimpse. Uh, they're probably hurrying at end of round. Heritage Druid, Deathrite Shaman, Elvish Visionary, three mana. Elvish Visionary, draw a card. That's one green. Zero green, all right. Oh, there are turns. <laughs> Okay, so now there's no more actual reason um, to be... Wow, brutal. Now there's no more actual reason to be um, hurrying like that. When you get time called on you, um, the turns are going to take as long as they take, so... Elves can win from this position. I have no doubt about that. Cradle makes zero mana, though, so that's a little bit of a, a hurdle. Deathrite Shaman, Dryad Arbor, Cradle taps for two, but he didn't play the Visionary. Why didn't... Uh, uh, two mana. I think you should curve out. I think that we should have played the Visionary. Um, this next turn, though, we're going to have... Let's see. If he goes for a really heavy glimpse... Yeah, here's turn four. That means that he has to attack this turn, so okay. Cradle taps for three. Glimpse. There's one green. Brandon glimpses. Dongyi is holding a force of will that he can hard cast. And one snapcaster mage. He's going to hard cast the force of will. This is his only protection here. Um, just getting rid of the glimpse. One green glimpse. One green. Korean Ranger draws a card and turns Cradle into four mana. Green Suns is in hand. He will untap Deathrite Shaman and return Ranger to hand. Deathrite Shaman will make one more mana. Cast Quirion Ranger and draw a card. Cradle will tap for four. Is this natural order? Double check the math. He's got sword mana up, but I don't think he's got it. He's got natural order. And he's going to sacrifice. He's got to choose a choose somebody to sack first. See, this is rough. I think he was just constrained on like one mana or something. Um, because without the visionary on the field, well, you got to choose who to sack first, man. So let's do that. 
그냥 이거 봐. 그러니까 두 마리가 안 되는 물이. Sack the dried arbor because it's tapped. Beforehand, I add. 아니 그냥 이거. He sacks Korean Ranger. I'm confused. Um, so that is so that is slow. What is that? 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 Wow, wow, wow. Um, I'm bad at Craterhoof math. Uh, good game. 